Hello everyone. Welcome to IT Tech Tharun channel. In this video series, we are going to learn about Oracle Cloud. And we will learn more about the Oracle Cloud. My name is Tharun. Uh, I recently completed my Oracle uh, certification IZ1932 exam. Uh, this is my first video on YouTube regarding uh, Oracle Cloud. And I'm going to upload, I'm making preparing videos on many topics like IAM, storage, networking, computing. Uh, if you don't want to miss any update of my channel, if you want to get notification whenever I upload a new videos, please uh, subscribe on my YouTube channel and uh, click on the bell icon. Uh, without wasting our time, let's get started our first tutorial. Uh, which is introduction to oracle cloud topics uh, in this video we are going to learn what is uh, cloud computing fundamentals of oracle cloud what is available in oracle cloud oracle global infrastructure and uh, in the demo we will see free trial and we will create free trial account. free trial oracle cloud account. Uh, before cloud before cloud uh, cloud co coming into the market what is uh, happen it is uh, what the things going you need to purchase everything like you need to purchase servers you need to purchase storage you need to purchase the network devices and everything you need to purchase the second one is you need to manage everything like uh, once you purchase the server storage network you need to um, manage them. You need to patch them. Firewall. You add the firewall rules, and you need to install operating systems and everything. You supposed to recruit IT support team, and uh, they can able to solve the fix the issues if something happens. Happen. So uh, this is happened before cloud coming. After the cloud computing after cloud uh, enter into the market these are all eliminates so what is uh, cloud computing cloud computing is the delivery of computing resources such as servers storage databases networking software and many more over the internet you simply access these ser services over the internet with no upfront cost and you only pay the resources you use it is a pay as you go model it is as simple as uh, as uh, simple as uh, cloud company is the delivery of computing resources like you can purchase servers you can purchase storage databases using uh, over the some url it is simple like you can see uh, these are our servers storage networking uh, this is a one of the cloud provider data center so all your uh, servers storage networking is located one of the data center cloud providers data center these are all not managed by us these are managed by the cloud uh, providers like aws oracle google azure so these are the uh, top cloud providers so the thing is cloud uh, computing is the delivery of computing resources over the internet okay next benefits of cloud computing the first benefit in cloud is cost cloud computing eliminates the capital expense of buying hardware and software and setting up uh, running on site data centers just as we said uh, it eliminates the capital expenses like you, you don't need to purchase the hardware and software you just take a rent and use it and pay pay the bill for what you use uh, it's like a have you ever visit uh, internet center in your location so there you go to the internet center and take a computer for uh, one or two hours after your work has been completed, then you pay the bill and you come back. The same thing in cloud happen. The cloud follows, uh, you don't need to purchase 
you know need to purchase anything you only use the resources and pay the bill the second advantage is speed cloud computing services are provided self service and on demand so even vast amount of computing resources can be provisioned in minutes typically with just a few mouse clicks like uh, if you come to the on site data centers once you purchase the hardware from the shop to bring them into the data center then you need to arrange uh, such uh, you need to arrange and uh, you need to install the software you need to connect them uh, internet and uh, these are the things you need you should do first then after you should utilize that but in the cloud sense these are all are already connected these are all already provisioned you just utilize it ready made model this is a ready made model you just utilize it that's it you no need to uh, bring uh, those uh, servers in data center and uh, these are all eliminated in the cloud the third benefit is productivity on site data center requires uh, racking and stacking hardware setup and uh, software patching in cloud it eliminates the all as as we as we know on site data centers required uh, if you have a data center uh, it contains a rack of systems like this and uh, it consumes a lot of space and it needs a hardware setup initial hardware setup and the software every time you need to patch your software if you come to the cloud uh, these are all things are eliminated you no need to set up any hardware the fourth one is performance regularly upgraded to the latest generation fast and efficient computing hardware uh, basically cloud providers are always always upgrade the hardware and they use a recent version of the cores cpus and which is much much more faster than our on premise uh, resources servers availability cloud computing makes data backup disaster recovery and business continuity easier and less expensive because data can be mirrored in multiple redundant sites on the cloud providers network Uh, as we as we said before um, every region contains uh, multiple availability domains means uh, multiple data center so whatever you upload you, you, you should you should architect such a way that whatever you create storage in one data center the same data should be replicated into another data center you should architect like that so that in the case of a disaster if one complete data center goes down your data has not been lost you don't lose any of your data you can access your data from another data center so uh, this is not possible if you have a data center if you have one data center it's not possible so real availability wise uh data backup disaster recovery is very helpful so these are the five main benefits of the cloud computing cost speed productivity performance and reliability the second one is uh, the next one is types of cloud computing public cloud means everyone can access the public cloud and everyone can utilize them private cloud is not for everyone only the restricted people can able to access them hybrid cloud is the a mixture of both public and private we will learn uh, these uh, upcoming videos the next one is types of cloud computing services cloud providers uh, provide these services like software as a service platform as a service infrastructure as a service uh, in this in the we, in this video series we are going to or focus mainly on infrastructure as a service how to create networking how to create security how to manage resources and all these things we will learn history of oracle cloud the first uh, oracle cloud is the oracle cloud ocic it is a classical edition of uh, cloud in oracle uh, later in oracle open world 
Oracle announced a generation to cloud, which is OCA. This is the latest version of the cloud. And we are focusing on the learning OCA. OCA is the new one and which is a much more faster compared to OCIC. Uh, coming to the next, next thing, what is available in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure as a service? Uh, in the Infrastructure as a service, Oracle offers these things. One is compute. In compute, you can create servers, uh, in storage. In storage, you can uh, create storage like object storage, blo block storage, file storage. This we will learn in upcoming videos. Networking, it will provide databases, load balancer, edge services, Revelo, Fast Connect, containers, email delivery, IAM, registry, storage gateway. All are these things Oracle IS is providing. We will learn one by one. The next one is Oracle Cloud Data Regions. What is mean by data region? The first thing is what is data region and what is availability domain data region is a geographical location it is a name of the uh, location geographical location it consists of more than one availability domain what is availability domain it is the actual data centers where the cloud resources are located which means if you see the uh, picture uh, current oracle provide five data reasons a reason is a location geographical location each region contains more than one availability domain availability domain means data centers for example if you take the ashburn region each ashburn region contains more than one data centers which is uh, separated by the miles of uh, the distance between one data center to another data system might be more than 100 miles so this is the global infrastructure so data region means a region is a geographical location each region consists of more than one availability domain uh, availability domain means it is a data center where our cloud resources are located as we said this is the data center this is one of the availability domain in one of the reason so all our resources are located in the availability domain in the next in the coming videos i don't say data center i will say availability domain availability domain is nothing but a data center region nothing but a location name so this is the thing we we should know before uh, starting uh, and now uh, not only reasoning you should also practice for practicing purpose you should uh, create free trial account free cloud oracle cloud account uh, for free trial it will provide uh, 300 us dollars which is valid up to 30 days by using this link you can able to create i just open and uh, if you open that link it will ask the email id and the country once you click on the next option, it will go this space. Uh, select on the personal use and the cloud account name. Give any of your choice. Select North America or AMA. Uh, fill, it, fill the details. And it will send some verification code. Once your verification has been completed, uh, in the uh, in the second step, it will uh, ask the phone number and uh, request code. Yeah, once you got the code, you need to verify. Once second step is has been completed, it will take into the payment page. Uh, if you have a credit card, you can create the free trial account. It will just charge two rupees for uh, verification purpose in India, but in dollars it will charge one dollar i think uh, that one dollar or so they will uh, return back within one week in the fourth step you need to agree all the conditions and click on the complete option so uh, create cloud account today and uh, we will uh, we will start uh, learning on oracle cloud 
if you have any doubts uh, comment and below i'm ready to help you i'm happy to help you uh, thanks for watching this video and subscribe to my channel thank you everyone for attending this session thank you bye click on the subscribe button and also click on the bell icon to get notification subscribe share like and comment thank you